Thank you, Dr. Kagi. I'm uh, deeply honored with the Geochemical Journal Award. This award is not my own. I thank not only the co-authors, but also colleagues and staff who have encouraged and helped me directly and indirectly. I'm especially grateful to my PhD supervisor, Professor Nakai, who always tough, supported and encouraged me. I also wish to thank my family, who always understood and inspired me. I started the uh, tungsten stop studies when I was a graduate student in 2006. My supervisor, Professor Nagai, introduced me to this new analytical tool for investigating quantum interaction in a probe-related basalts, which I got interested in. I analyzed several YB and Cambridge samples, but the result did not show any resolvable anomalies of 182 tungsten because the variations are quite small, and we could not obtain the required precision at that time. Those data were published in Chemical Geology in 2009. After I obtained my PhD, I first worked as a postdoctoral fellow in the University of Tokyo and then moved to the National Institute for Quantum and Radiological Science and Technology, where I analyzed radioactive nuclei derived from the terrible Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in accident. When the JSPS grant in a project called Induction started, I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Suzuki in Jamstick and continue my tungsten isotope studies. It was a tough work to obtain required precision in the tungsten isotope analysis as I have uh, I have young children that I had to bring back and forth from their kindergarten school. My work hours at the Jamstick was so limited Considering this situation, I had to lay out the uh, day by day experimental plan and concerned on the procedure each day. The paper that was selected for the hours is the result of successful effort to finally obtain the high precision requires to resolve 182 tungsten anomalies in primary related basalt. Despite difficulties, and limited time. The analytical procedure was applied on more samples, and I'm looking forward to sharing the results to the science community in the near future. Again, I thank you very much.